Warmer temperatures and an early thaw have maple syrup producers buzzing with activity. Bryce Henry tags along with one Northland syrup producer who says the trees will be running any day now. Warmer temperatures are causing snow to melt. Spring is in the air. Yeah, that little chickadee is thinking it's spring. The key word there is thinking. For maple syrup producer Dave Rogoski, the quick flow of warm air is a surprise. I didn't foresee such a warm up like this. All the taps are in and most of the lines are up, but there's just a couple of leaks and connections to fix. <laughs> I think we'll have sap by Wednesday. All right. And hopefully we'll be doing our first boil by Thursday. That'd be my my guess. Over 5,000 trees are tapped here. It takes a lot of work to come up with just one container of maple syrup. 40 gallons of sap make up one gallon of syrup. The sap has a lower sugar content straight out of the tree and the concentration increases as it runs through an osmosis machine and evaporator. It started in the tree at 2% and comes off the evaporator finished at, at 67%. The Rogotsky family of Duluth produces an average of about 800 gallons each year. The key word there is average. You never know what the season may bring. Three years ago we made 400 gallons. Two years ago we made 1,200 gallons. Last year we made 900 gallons. Um, I'm hopeful for this year, but we'll have a much better idea by the, um, they'll be a lot smarter by the end of, of April here. Until that syrup comes in, there's a little to enjoy in the meantime. Come back for pancakes Thursday night. In Duluth, Bryce Henry, KDLH3 News. If you're looking to pick up a bottle of the Rogotsky family simple gift syrup, it's sold locally at the Whole Foods Co op or you can order it online. We provided a link on our website, nmcnow.com.